Hello again everyone, I'm Jim, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be having a look at the EU G4 doorbell and also how you can get it working via PoE and have a wireless chime. Now for those of you that have uh, watched my channel before, you will be well aware that I have the US G4 doorbell already. I pulled this in from America and finally after months we now have the EU version and obviously the first major difference is the box size. Uh, as you can see, this is significantly bigger than the US doorbell. And that is because of one reason, and it appears that Unify actually thought about this. And in this box is a doorbell transformer for us over here in the EU and the UK to actually be able to use and power the 24 volt requirement for this doorbell. So what I'm going to do is pop this open now. As you can see, it's still sealed. I will open this up and show you what's inside. And uh, then we'll have a run through with that. And also while we're here, I'm going to show you how it's possible to actually use a Honeywell wireless adapter with wireless doorbell and get that working with, uh, with the doorbell. So you can actually have a chime that works. Now, just to obviously go over that again this is as new this has literally just arrived in to me so i'm going to open this up no cheating here i haven't even had a look other than seeing what other people have got get rid of the cellophane and go with the whole unboxing experience of the doorbell now first things first doorbell with Obviously noticeably bigger box, hopefully tucked under here eyes. Yeah, there we go. So this unit now comes with a doorbell transformer. Now, it's nice to see that Unify or Ubiquiti have actually listened because finding these in the UK is difficult. Most of them are out of stock and the ones that do exist don't have enough amperage if you want to use AC to power your doorbell. For those of you who like myself actually are powering their doorbell via DC which is not supported but does work uh, you won't need this but it's useful to have it even has a nice pretty U on the front from Unif or Ubiquity to say that it's their own thing it's a 16 volt 15 VA unit so quite interesting as a lot of people were shouting that you needed a 30 VA adapter. Well, it appears that Ubiquiti have specified 16 VA, sorry, 15 VA for their unit. So there's the first bit. Now I'm expecting this to look pretty much like the rest of a normal doorbell as on the back here, we should have exactly the same model number. Yes, it's a UVC G4 doorbell, which matches the one that is sat on my uh, door at the moment from the US. So there's no difference. EU, US doorbell, exactly the same model. No difference with that. Instructions seem to be considerably slimmer. Hmm. New, improved, maybe. Um, oh, well, obviously a scan to the manual there. We have the standard man mounting plate with its level. Put that there for the minute. Pop that out. And then underneath we should have, yeah, so normal screw pack. Wedge mount for angling the unit, should you need to. And then hopefully in the bottom of the box here we should have, yeah, the chime adapter and the actual doorbell adapters. So everything bar this unit here, identical to the US product as expected. So there is no difference for anyone wondering. But what we'll now do, or what I'll now do, is actually get this set up powered by PoE so that we can actually show a Honeywell wireless adapter working with this. I will state this now, this is not officially supported because this is an AC rated doorbell, but it does work on DC voltage as well. Again, the Honeywell adapter I have here, the way it works is not officially supported, 
but it works. If you want to use this, it's up to you. You do this at your own risk, but I'm just demonstrating to you that actually it can be made to work. You can get a off-the-shelf part with an off-the-shelf ringer and make it work with a G4 doorbell. Now, as you can see, this is basically set up with a brand new doorbell ready for setting up. See, it says so. Now we have the two adapters here with the brown pair and the blue pair powered via a Ubiquiti 24 volt PoE injector. You can also power this via a PoE switch with a 24 volt adapter in it, um, which is what mine is powered with. I don't have one spare because it's powering my doorbell, but the uh, 48 volt to 24 volt system does work. This is just a generic cable. I've trimmed off the end and obviously cut the green pair and the orange pair off because to put the doorbell chime in place, we are going to need to basically cut this wire here and slot this in line. And then we will have to remove these two end bits here and connect them into the wireless adapter, which I will now do and uh, show you the result and it working when done. Right, now we are all connected up correctly and programmed in. I will restate, this is not officially supported by anyone, but it works. That's all I can say about this, it does work. So I have adopted the doorbell into my protect system. I've told it it has a chime. Uh, the chime has obviously the blue pair connected in and out. Doesn't matter which way around those go. The uh, what were the original connectors that would normally go to a transformer and chime are connected into the Honeywell wireless adapter in ports A1 and AC1. Now, if it doesn't work one way around, rotate them turn them around and it will work. We just found, because obviously it's DC, we have found this, that, that basically sometimes you have to put that one in that one and that one in that one, because there is no markings on any of these. And then once it's all set up, there is the actual adapter. Make sure you have the battery in it. This is a Honeywell Home. Have we got a model on here that I can tell you? Uh, I will put the model details down below in the comments or in the details for this video, so that if you want to do this, you can. We plug in the unit, all set up. I press the doorbell, the light flashes, and the wireless charm works. Charm, chime even, there we go. So there you go. This is a PoE powered G4 doorbell with wireless chime adapter from Honeywell not supported, but it does work. There we go. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been useful. Hope this will prove useful to some of you who are looking at getting this doorbell. Please see my previous videos for my other opinions on this doorbell. Um, it has improved. My own doorbell it seems to be behaving itself after the last firmware update. We shall see. Uh, but going on from there, thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe would be amazing. And uh, I will see you in the next video, whereby hopefully we're going to be playing with that.